Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is TM Glitch. I am a music producer and a DJ. And this is OSC Pilot by Dead Mouse. So this is a brand new software. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on how to set it up because I had a hard time setting it up. And it's a little bit more than just plug and play. So I'm going to do a quick video on how you actually set it up to work properly. Um, all the links are going to be down in the description on where you can get this and where you can get the tools necessary to get it to work. Um, for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get it working on a machine that already has your DAW on it. So instead of having the MIDI or the signals go over your network. This is strictly going to be for if you're running OSC Pilot on the same computer as your um, MIDI, uh, wherever your MIDI's going. So, first thing you're going to want to do is download OSC Pilot and you're going to want to have your DAW open and you're going to want to uh, have loop midi downloaded and loop midi you can find it um on the osc pilot website in the documentation there's a link to it there it'll also be in the description so what you're going to want to do is open oscillator not oscillator osc pilot you're going to want to initialize a new project and for just demonstration, I'm going to show you how to set up a drum button. So just drag down the button and whatever size, it doesn't really matter. Make sure you have Loop MIDI installed. And this is Loop MIDI. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do what I did. You're going to want to basically um, go from machine so you can type it in here from machine and then click the plus button I already set this up so it's right here make sure you it doesn't really need to be capitalized but I like it capitalized because it's easier then you're gonna add a second port called to machine and you're gonna wanna add that as well I already have both added. So now you have from machine and to machine in loop MIDI. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your DAW. I use Ableton Live. And you're going to want to go to preferences or whatever your DAW has for preferences, settings, I don't know. Um, go to your MIDI in and outs. Um, in the case of Ableton, you're going to want to go to the input section. Make sure all three of these are checked. And you're going to want to make sure that it's from machine is what you're checking on the input. For the output, you're going to want to look for to machine and make sure all three of these are selected. What you're going to want to do then for Ableton in this case, but this might be different in your DAW, but it should work in any doll. Go for your inputs and outputs for your MIDI. Your input, you're going to want to select from machine because it's coming from OSC Pilot into Ableton or wherever your doll is. And your output's going to be to machine because it's going to be outputting from Ableton to Oscillator Pilot. Not Oscillator OSC. I keep getting those mixed up. I'm sorry. But anyway, if you have no input and output in your DAW, you're just going to want to click from machine for MIDI input. If it doesn't have an output, don't worry about it. Just make sure the input is coming from machine. So then what you're going to want to do is you can close this. Make sure you save the settings. Then you're going to want to go back to OS OSC Pilot. You're going to want to go to Settings. And once you're in settings, you're going to see MIDI settings. 
you're going to want to go to MIDI out device. And like we said before, we're outputting from machine to go into your DAW. So let's go to settings. So make sure you check from machine. Now, now you're connected to your DAW. So you should be able to drag up from the bottom to go into perform mode and your button and everything should be connected to Ableton or whatever your doll is. So this is where I had some trouble. So your MIDI channel can be one, um, it can be really anything, any number. Um, I'm just going to use channel um, five because I know that I have other MIDI devices. So I want to make sure that I have all my, uh, I have my channel five open. So MIDI CC can be zero. Now, when it says MIDI note, I got confused. This is where I failed to understand how it worked. Um, I typed in C1 for the C. But that's really not how it works. You're gonna, if you look it up on Google, um, mini note actually, C1 is actually note 31, or not 31, 36. So if you want your base note to be, or your root note for whatever button you're using to be C1, you're gonna want it to be 36 because that is the base note. Um, once you have the channel at whatever number, CC at zero, and the mini note at 36, or whatever note number you want, you can look up note numbers on Google and figure out whatever note you want and what number correlates to it. But in my case, C1 is 36. Um, you can go into preform mode you can go back to Ableton and just to show you that it works now um, you can drag in a drum kit from Ableton or whatever doll you're using and listen to kick 606 so now we're gonna hit the button and we should have it working Oh, and you're not going to be able to hear it because I don't have anything to record my ASIO driver. So I'm just going to turn my speakers on so you guys can hear it. And you should be able to hear it now that I press this button. So I can turn that down a bit. Yeah. Now this works as well if you... Let's just drag this down. Like that, there we go. This also will work. Um, let's see, if you wanted a keyboard, let's say you want your same thing. Let's do channel six, zero, mini note 36 for C. Um, and then let's go back to Ableton or whatever dog you're using and just take. Uh, anything. Let's just take a piano. Um, you should be able to get it to work. And then you just go up. The best way to use um, OSC Pilot is with a touch screen. Um, I will have a link in the description to the touch screen that I use. Um, but once you get it actually functioning with your DAW and once you understand the settings and stuff, it should be fairly simple to learn how to use. This is just something I had a hard time with, so I'm making sure everyone knows how to do it. Um, that's about it. Um, make sure you subscribe and check out more of my videos. I'll be posting more often now that I have um, 
more time. Um, make sure to watch out for my music. Make sure you always have fun when you produce. That's it for me. Make sure you check out all the links to where you can get this stuff in the description. And that's just about it. See ya.